What's going on, my precious gents? Thank you for tuning in to Channel 4. I'm your host, Frosty Cones. Welcome to episode number 25 of Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, everybody. Now, if you missed out yesterday's episode, definitely be sure to check it out in the XD playlist. It's down there in the description below. Uh, we're here at the outskirts stand, and we, we took Mirror B on uh, towards the end of the of the episode, the last episode. And uh, we're going to see what's popping here in the outskirts scene. This is actually the first time we're here, so I can't wait to see what uh, what kind of stuff we can buy from here and all of that good stuff. So if you guys are hyped for today's episode, and if you're loving the XC series so far, then definitely be sure to let me know and leave a like for the video one good time, because Channel 4 is brought to you in part by the love and support of the precious gens that you guys are. Don't forget to leave a comment on the video, as well as following me on Twitter and Instagram and subscribing to me to add yourself to the stash of gems. Now, um, before we get in any further into the episode, I do want to go into a quick team recap because there's some changes that have been made. Um, I did make some evolves happen and um, I'll, I'll kind of explain them whenever whenever we get to them. So first up, we have Kitaraguma, the Ursa Ring with Return, Metal Claw, Fain Attack, and Refresh. Next, we have Louie, the Houndoom with Fain Attack and Charm and Flamethrower and Drawer. Holding the uh, Black Glasses, Kitaraguma's holding the Leftovers. Then we have Shakuo the Clay Doll, and I was really I was really anxious to get Shakuo uh, fully evolved. And um, I know we're pretty high level now, especially with fully evolved Pokemon. But I mean, I just I just wanted to evolve Pokemon. Oh, and that's my phone ringing. Um, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, I was like I was trying to figure out what what that sound was. Um, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, I really wanted to just go ahead and evolve Shakuo so he could be a little bit more useful on the team. He wasn't doing a lot of damage, and he was taking hits pretty well, but I think I think we, we really need to get him to get evolved. So, um, he's got Ancient Power, Sandstorm, Mudslap, and Side Beam as usual. Then we have Midori, the, um, I'm sorry, Jolteon with the magnet, holding that little magnet with Thunderbolt. Double Kick, Bite, and Thunder Wave. Uh, we, we we covered a couple more um, areas in the um, in the in the uh, Mount Battle, and yeah, uh, I'm sorry, I lost I, I lost trade of thought because my phone started ringing again. Um, actually, give me one second, you guys. All right, guys. Sorry about that. So, um, yeah, we got we got Midori, and I did already say his moves, but um, I did I cleared through area six, I want to say, of Mount Battle. So we're actually pretty close to clearing Mount Battle, and um, I don't know. Well, I'll I'll just, I'll see if we can like make some time to at least get in one stream before the series is over of doing like either Mount Battle or um, or or the Battle CDs or something. For you guys just for some extra content and everything like that but uh yeah moving on we have tengu the shift tree and i was looking at his learn set and he doesn't get extra sensory until level 47 as a nuzleaf and i was not about to have a nuzleaf till the end of the fucking game i'm sorry but no um giga drain fake out faint attack and secret power that's a pretty good move set uh for a shift tree um, it, he's pretty balanced in special attack and uh, physical attack, so it's all right. It, it's all right. It's, it's okay. It's whatever. He is calm natured, but it's it's whatever. Uh, up next, we have Sativa the Gardevoir with Shockwave, Calm Mind, Reflect, and Psychic, and um, she's holding the, the Twisted Spoon, I believe. Yeah, Twisted Spoon, Magnet, Black Glasses, Leftovers, and let's get straight into this episode. I'm sorry that it's been off to a slow start, Nova Jigigas. All right, so tell us what's up, MBS. We bring you a breaking news story. The cargo ship SS Libra was found in the desert north of Phoenix City. Its baffling disappearance is believed to have been caused by Cypher. It is unclear as to how the ship was transported to the desert, however. Cypher's motives for taking the ship are also unknown. Unfortunately, there is no sign of the numerous Pokemon aboard the ship. Concern is rising for their safety and welfare. Okay, and sorry about that. Uh, this is going to be a struggle-filled episode. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Is that right, my friend? So you're traveling by your lonesome. If you're going to stay on the road, you should probably stock up on some supplies here. I've got a selection of Pokeballs, too. And yada, yada, yada. Uh... He's got revives. Ooh, he's got time revolves. That might come in clutch. Let's get a couple of these. And a couple of these. Oh, we already have a couple of those. 
probably get a couple of these. Actually, yeah, 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 that's good. Let's get, let's get a go. No, 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 no. Alright. Alright, so... Did you see the news? I've just been... Uh, nah. What is happening? Okay, that was really weird. Oh, okay. Yo, wait up, wait up! Hey man, my name's Willie. Oh. So, this is like the same guy from Coliseum, okay. He's about to get wiped. Oh my god, the old battle music, holy moly. And he's got his two zigzagoons. Alright, Kiriguma, yo, we are going to, like, absolutely demolish these guys. Watch this, watch this, watch this. See the level, oh my god, these levels are insane. Goodbye, I'm sorry. We're just gonna roast you. Cook you. We got like no experience over that, oh my god. Oh, Lightning, okay. And completely blown away. Goodbye. And what level are they? 26? Okay. Let's just, let's just, you know, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Wax out, wax off. Yo, that actually destroyed him. I was thinking, like, you know, maybe since it's a Linoon, it's evolved, like, it'll, it'll take it, but no. Not at all. Look at that attack stat, 110 right now. Ah, oh, of course. Neither of us have Earthquake. But whatever, go ahead and use Dig, it's alright. Yo, that does nothing! Uh, nothing! Alright, Kid Guma, let's go. Holy crap. That is just insane. I want to find a Silk Scarf. I want to find a Silk Scarf for Kid Guma to use. And then, ooh, and then I can use Jolteon to T-Wave it and give it the Guts Boost. Oh, God. Guts Boost, uh, Silk Scarf, Return. Ooh. So I have no idea where to go. Wait. Hello? Oh, I didn't want to battle you again. Come on. I miss what he what he said. I wish I could like speed up. <sighs> Sorry, it's cool. Sorry, it's alright. Just hold my dick. Hold it. Goodbye. And it's also free experience. I think they give EVs and speed. Either that or HP. I don't think it would give maybe attack? Maybe it gives uh EVs and speed and attack. Hmm. Alright, so now I know I gotta kill one of them. I think I gotta kill this one in front of me first. This one, yeah. Because he uses dig, and hopefully the other one doesn't try to use dig. 
Please don't. Please don't even try it. That's a mean headbutt. Yo, that actually reminds me of Sun Gold when when I was grinding and there was this lining from hell. It's actually what I called it, the lining from hell. And just headbutted everything, every single thing in my life. He attacked. Now where in the hell do I go? Do I go back here? I don't need to go back to the ship. Okay, okay, okay. Keep calm, carry on, or whatever. Maybe, okay. Well, when in doubt, where the fuck is Pirate? When in doubt, just go and talk to Net. And normally he he gives you the advices for your vices. And we got a couple of Pokemon that are almost ready to be purified in um in uh the purify chamber, so that'll be good. And like I said, once once you start like purifying multiple Pokemon, like the ball just gets rolling and then you can have like four purifying at a time. It's amazing. Let's see, we're going through here, we're cutting through there. I hate how we have to go like through all of these places though. We'll talk to Sec first. Let's, let's go ahead and see what's popping. Yo! Or Dell. Who the fuck is Hordell? We were just there. I didn't see no Hordell. Who is Hordell? We talk to every single person at the outskirts stand. What is he talking about? Okay. Oh, okay. Alright, notice yourself. Don't try to use the joystick. Don't try to use the joystick. Oh, speaking of Shadow Pokemon. Yep, there's Duskull. Ready to go. Oh my god, what is happening? What is happening? Just get me out of here. Alright, let's go to Outskirts Sand. See what's popping with Hordell. Hormel Chili. Um, no. What? Wait, are you hoarded? Oh my. Oh my god. I'm so mad. When it fled, I managed to spirit away just one shadow Pokemon. Okay. So now I have to go all the way back to a piece. Are you kidding me? Why can't you warn me of this sooner? We've located Team Snagum. They've been operating out of their old hideout north of outskirts stand. Alright. Well, we got this. Thank you, Hordell. You can you can hold on to the Togepi because I do not want it. Do not want. Not happy. Very angry. We're here. Frosty, I trust you've been well. I'm proud to announce the reopening of the Real Gum Coliseum following extensive maintenance. Uh, we look forward to your participation. Ooh, so we can do the stadium. That's more 
That's more, uh, like... Post-game, or not... Not post-game, I guess, maybe, like... I don't know. Um... What was I gonna do? I was gonna save. I'm gonna save. Um, I'm not gonna end the episode off just yet because... Um, I know there have been some distractions. I want to make sure this is a full-length episode, but, um, oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to change the team a little bit. So much fun. Alright, let's get in here and we see this guy. So now we're fighting the Snagum guys. And um it's kinda weird seeing them come back. I totally forgot that they do make a comeback, which is I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Tengu and Louie have been like Day one niggas. Oh my god, I said that with a hard R. Oh my god, wow. I, I'm so sorry, I heard my dog bark and then that just kind of like threw me off. Holy shit, kill me. But the best part about being so over level is that we're able to take on other mods like super easy, so... Um, it like, this is, this is just a breeze. It's just a breeze, and whenever we get to the boss Pokemon, it'll be a breeze. Go back. That's fine. Right. Why don't we? Because the Oddish isn't really doing anything, and I know I always say that in front of a grass type and then they like stun for me or something, but um yeah, I just can't do much. No! Holy shit, okay, my B. It does suck that as a stone evolution century we can learn any other moves, but uh we can get good TMs, we can teach it earthquake and, uh, and a couple other good moves. Oh, of course. Not very effective, but that did a lot. Holy shit, okay. Sweet scent. Yeah, it's just using sweet scent, it's not doing anything. It ain't harming nobody. My basinness is dropping, but that, that don't need scratch. Um, let's go for the otters. The Absol. Holy shit. Okay, you're gone. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. Goodbye. Holy crap. Okay. Goodbye. You're done. So long. So, let's see, who else is level 35? Here, you know what, why don't we show off... Sativa and Shikuo, the, the psychic duo. But do oh. Hello? Okay, so there is a healing spot. Oh, and it's right here, perfect. controller is just like not listening to me right now. Alright. An ultra ball, hey, alright. That's a love. That's a love.
Yo, more hyper potions? Yo, thank you, thank you. Thank you kindly. And they m know my name too? They must be fans. They must be real fans. Come here. What you got? Coughing in an oddish? Ah ah. Ah ah ah. You ain't nothing. Against two psychic types? Oh, look at Shakua on the field just levitating. Yeah, let's use this, uh, this mighty, this mighty Psybeam and the Psychic. Yo, he outspeeds everything on the field. He outspeeds Sativa, that is insane. That's because she's, she's brave natured, that's, that's gotta be why. Now I'm probably going to use uh, Psychic on the Dust Ox because um, Psychic packs more of a punch, Sativa's uh, special attack is higher. Um, oh yeah, and then yeah, Shikiko can definitely Psychic or Psybeam that, uh, that, that Quillfish. Um, I think it gets Psychic uh, pretty soon in like level 40 something. Yeah, I know it gets Earthquake pretty soon too. I think it better get Earthquake because like when, when I was playing Coliseum and I realized that Flygon did not get Earthquake, I was like, what? Like, why would it not get Earthquake by level up? That makes zero sense. Zero sense. It's a ground type. It's a ground dragon. I don't know. I don't know, but it, it learns Dragon Dance now in Sun and Moon. Ugh. They like it's like they've been listening to what to what we we've been asking Mons need, and like that's gonna that's gonna. I think uh, Flygon's gonna say in UU, but um, I think it's gonna have a much better place in UU, for sure. Um, let's go down here. Ugh. Stupid controller, my dude, come on. I don't know what is going on. TM29, what is this? I feel like it's one of the, the good ones. It's one of the good TMs. Let's see, let's see. So <gasps> Yo, if Shakua doesn't learn Psychic by level up, that's happening right now. Um, I don't exactly want to go this way. Oh, I could have just walked straight past him. He's got a crowbat. Crowbat is still ugly. Okay. Side beam. Psychic. Astonish. Don't flinch. Don't flinch. He is. Shiko is the fastest second. To a crowbat. It was a crit. It was a crit. Actually, let's, let's use Ancient. Let's use Ancient Power. Actually, why don't we, why don't we tag team? Why don't we tag team this thing?
you know, with this powerful psychic. Yeah. Oh, another critical hit. The team needs to calm down. She seriously needs to calm down. Yeah. Alright, well, I think that's a good place as any to go ahead and end off this episode. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just say sorry for like how shitty this episode is gonna end up turning out because of like all of the cuts and shit that I'm gonna have to do. But uh, I, I know it's gonna be a really like choppy, chopped up. Like there's gonna be a lot of silence and shit. And I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Some shit just was happening around and shit happens. So um, thank you guys though for taking the time out of your day to watch this episode and make it to the end. If you liked it and you enjoyed it, you know. Leave a like in the video, don't forget to comment, as well as adding yourself to the Sasha Gyms by hitting that subscribe button and following me on Twitter and Instagram. The links are in the description below. But with all that being said, I'm going to get up out of here and bounce. So thank you guys for tuning in to Channel 4. I'm your host, Frosty Cones, signing off. Peace.